I fished over 10 events to get to this one. Cattle Lake, Louisiana, the land of cypress trees and biggins. Oh my gosh! Blood, sweat, tears, and many miles of driving. I made it, I think. I'm pretty sure I made it. Top 100. There's a lot on the line fishing amongst 300 plus professional kayak anglers to get to this point. Nah, you gotta catch and release. <clears throat> Photo catch and release. Um, freaking late. But good thing my plan worked is the launch ramp was open. Uh, it was closed due to filming the day before. We're just gonna see how this area does. It was really good for me during practice and I stuck a 21 and a quarter on the second day to qualify me. I hope there's a pattern that develops during time. Time will tell. But as you know, Chatterbait has been doing well. So most of the day I'll be throwing that. But if I some, see some activity that I really like, I'm gonna be sure and go after it. <laughs> I'm not gonna miss the humidity. That's for sure. Great little town though. Bonus fish of the day. I'll take it. You think he wanted it? Yeah, he did. All right, fish, release code. Take an off code. All right, I didn't get this on camera, but it's okay because it's not big. What were you thinking, dude? What were you thinking? That's my second non-keeper of the tournament. Let's see. Is it gonna keep? Oh shoot, it'll keep. All right, all right, all right. I'll take you until I need to get rid of you. Hey. That was close. It's kinda on the small side, so. I wouldn't be too disappointed if you were my first loss of the day. That'll do. Code, the fish, second fish, the release, and the code. I've never fished it, <sighs> got nothing to lose, going for the 20 inches today and nothing but 20s, but you know, I'll submit occasional 16, 17 inch if I catch one. Anyways, checking out, let's resume the video.
tags, third fish, release tags. Kind of looks like a spot. That is a spot. Yeah, it's a spotted bass. I think. What you doing here, buddy? Stop. Stop. Ah. Alright guys, tags. I believe this is third or fourth fish. Release. That was cool. Yes. Yes. That's how you do it. Eighteen inches, baby. I don't know why they make these catch boards solid metal without a floater. Give us a floater too. I'm gonna lose these boards and what are we gonna measure with? I think that's five boys. Oh, look how he was hooked. I don't think he was coming off. He was like, that hook went all up inside and outside, inside and outside. Crazy. Got a good hook set in him. Let's see how much he measures. Please go 19. I need something big. Two and a half. All right, guys. Identifier. 18 and a half, just touches. Check it out. Touches right there. Oh, great part. Cool. And the release. And the tags. I'm on this side of the screen. Yeah. I look about halfway up. Shut up. About that Are they poisonous? Yeah, I was fishing next to that tree. Where are they? Oh, he's on a limb about halfway up. You stay clear away? Oh, no, they don't bother me. Oh, they don't? They bother me. <laughs> All right, good luck, brother. What's up, guys? A little midday update. So, uh, got a late start, as you guys know. Um, I got four on chatterbait. Two, I call them bonus fish because I usually don't get bit right first thing in the morning or I lose them. But I got two like really soon in my spot that I hit up yesterday. And then I made a run, went to a main lake point, went around the corner of it, 
hit a tree with a chatterbait. It was a tree on the outside, I believe. Just slow rolling them along those trees on the side near the knees of those cypress trees. And then bam, fish on. Fortunately, they're all 12 and a half to 13 inches. Um, then I saw a fish bust on some bait, tied on a black fluke. Took three casts. Third cast was a charm. Cast it between two trees. Plop, plop, plop. Boosh! Fish came out of the water. Whole body out of the water. And to my eyes, it looked pretty small when it came out of the water, but it was so fast. I guess I didn't pick up on it. When I brought it to the boat, it was an 18 and a half, guys. That's a nice fish. Um, that put me up there. I'm at 72 inches. But we're going to see what we can do with these offshore trees. And then we're going to go past that bridge and then go to our original second and third spot where I filled in a limit last hour the day before if you watched that video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I have the link in the description for day one. No, that was day two. This is day three, the final day. Top 100 boys. Anyways, talk to you soon. Peace. Let's go. Freaking beast. Beast. Let's go. Let's go. All right, here's the bass. Here's the identifier. Nice six fish coal. That's a nice upgrade. Six inches upgrade. I, w I had 72 inches, like pretty much two hours in. And then I caught that 20 just now and that put me at 79. Chatterbait has been catching a lot of small fish today, except for that big one. I mean, the ones I, I, I hooked, I would have had probably, I would imagine around 80. Probably, probably around 90. That will help, guys. That will help the cause. All right, here's a coal, coal tag, release, and then identify. Damn, he hit it 
like a ton of bricks. Video, identifier, police identifier. What up guys? So, update. I have 83.5 inches. I'm sitting 28th, but can't go off of that because a lot of people are gonna be uploading later. Um, I need 90 to 100 to secure the deal. So, to get the top 30 at least, a paycheck. So what I'm gonna do is cover a lot of the water that I haven't been to since day one or since practice. So, let's hit up those trees, pray, pray, pray. Positivity that a big girl came up and nosed down to a tree so that way I could measure her. Anyways, check it out. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Oh my gosh. rods everywhere that's why you fish throughout the whole day you don't just give up Here's a coal identifier, release identifier. Come on, man, let's go, let's do this. Ah, that's all she wrote. Well, we gave it a shot, you know. Um, the day's wrapped up. I fished all three days over at Cattle Lake in the Louisiana side, specifically near the historic draw bridge. Launched there twice and then launched at another launch ramp uh, close to the area. All in all, I had a lot of fun. It was a lot of grinding, tears, happiness and emotion just all emotions and fishing this 25,000 acre lake was kind of a learning lesson i would say and you know i learned my capabilities as an angler that i could go to any lake out there have an open mind fish new water and be confident about searching for bass um, and i feel like it's an ultimate test 
to all anglers to go to new waters and, and really find and hone down areas with certain patterns and finding out what the pattern is. That's half the battle. And then the other half is uh, finding areas of big largemouth or big spotted bass or big smallies. That's another um, portion of pre-fish and practice. But overall, I'm happy with myself. I've, I was consistent. I drove, sorry. I drove so long, lack of sleep. I mean, I even was late to the captain's meeting the second day after the second day and then i was late to launching today because my body is just so tired I have headaches uh every day it's a grind so next time we're gonna get a mortar for sure um we're gonna try to get something to assist me and then also I'm gonna have like a mini cooler so I could stay, have cool beverages, stay hydrated, maybe even have some salt tablets to make sure my body retains all the water that I've been drinking. But um, yeah, all in all, great tournament, great experience. My first three day event and uh, can't be any happier with the results. All right guys, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe, hit this like button if you like the video and then comment. Peace.